Hey there, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I always thank the Father and the Son. Thank the Father for His Spirit, Holy Spirit. Um, this dream is quite weird to me, but um, I was standing outside and with a with a group of people, with a few people spirited around. I don't know. And then I seen myself uh, standing, or we all was like standing next to like a a stone, a huge, 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 huge stone. I don't know how big this stone was, but it was huge. And the stone was just laying flat, and I was somewhat resting on the stone a little bit. And then out of nowhere, um, it's like someone, something, okay, this stone first was laying flat, all right, while everybody was around it. And the stone was moved like it was a, a seesaw, okay? Like it was a seesaw, and it moved with force. Someone had to have done that. It was knocked up. Okay, so while it was knocked up out of nowhere, everyone started screaming because it was bound to fall over. And, I mean, this stone was, I don't know how many feet it was, but it was huge, huge, huge. I mean, taller than the trees, taller than the tallest tree. But it uh, seesawed up, and then it was about to come down forward. And while that happened, everybody was scattering and screaming and running. But me, I was right next to it, and I froze because I just couldn't believe that it happened like that so quickly. I didn't know where to go. It's like I just automatically froze. At the same time, I said, right now I'm going to die. This thing is going to follow me, and I'm going to die. But it fell right next to me. It didn't touch me. And then it did. It uh, began to move again. Okay, I'm not sure if someone was doing it or what. And then I tried to run, but I froze again in fright. And I said, oh, my goodness, I can't move. My mind was just thinking about so many things. And then it fell again, and it didn't touch me as people were still scattering, as people were still running. And I'm not sure if it done it again, but I just kept finding myself not being hit by this huge, huge stone that was that kept falling and um, tumbling. I mean, it was, it, as it fell, it shook the ground violently, but I just froze, and it, just, it didn't hit me. It didn't touch me whatsoever, and I was like... Before it all happened, I was actually leaning on this stone. Um, and then what I remember is after it got done falling and it was just over, I began to pray like no other. I began to praise and worship God for now. I, be, I believed in this dream that I was being protected. I believed in this dream that The Lord had control over that stone, not touching me, not falling on me, not killing me. I mean, if it killed me in that dream, it killed me in that dream. But I was, it just felt in that dream that something kept it away from me, but it was still falling right next to me. So I began to worship after that, and I was crying out to the Lord, and I was doing that while everybody else was looking at me. I don't know, I just, it overcame me. This Holy Spirit overcame me, and I began to praise the Almighty's name. I was calling out his name, all the names that God has. I was calling out every last one of them, glorifying him before people. People was just looking at me like I was crazy. I didn't care. I had my hand, both my hands lifted up in the sky, and I began to exalt the Almighty God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. 
I mean, this praise and worship was so strong to the point where I lost my voice in this dream. I lost my voice in this dream glorifying the Lord. And after I was doing it, after I lost my voice, I still had my hands in the air, but I just couldn't say anything, you know what I mean? I don't know what this dream meant, but it was powerful enough to where I woke up, I still remembered it, you know what I mean? I don't know, but I just thought I'd put this out here, out there, and y'all take care.